Hey, it's Keith Hawkins back with you again with Essential Life Skills. I'm so excited to bring back our two guests, Kosi and Valerie, and we're talking about today's work ethic. I remember both of these students back in high school and how hard they worked. And you know what? It's interesting because I remember that when I first saw them work amongst people, I knew that their work ethic would take them where they're at today. And that's why Valerie playing softball down at Fullerton, Kosi graduating from UCLA within four years. I want to just say this, that does not happen without work ethic. I hope you enjoy the conversation today. Valerie, all I want to ask you is this. Um, when you look at work ethic, like what is your pillars? Like what do you what do you what do you, what keeps you going when it comes? What is your work ethic? What do you do? Um, for me, I don't like to be mediocre. Mm -hmm. Me and my dad, like I said, I mentioned before, me and my dad are very close. So we had a really big heart to heart conversation on work ethic. If you want to be anything, you have to work hard. Like nobody's gonna hand it out to you. So I came from a family where both my parents did not, they barely graduated from high school. They do not have any college level education. So our end goal was this, is to have a bachelor's degree, hopefully a master's, and then hopefully go on to law school. Like that is our end goal. So to know that it's not going to be easy, we have to work hard and nobody, especially now with athletics, it is extremely, extremely hard and you have to stay organized and you have to have the drive. Like your mom can't have it for you. Your teammates can't have it for you. You have to find it within you. You know, I, I use this quote. The quote goes, today is a great day to be great. And when people ask me, what does that mean? That means that if you do what most people don't do, you're going to be considered great. But you mentioned something that made me think. Um, you were talking about, you know, end goal, end goal. I want to end on this. Why, why is having an end goal so important? Because it seems like people get up every day and they live their life, but they're not thinking about the end in mind. I know that's the seven habits of successful teens, but why is it so important to have that, that goal in mind? And, but why is end goal so important? Why do you feel passionate about that? I feel really passionate, especially about my end goal and about everyone else's because we all want to be successful. We all want to have a purpose. We all want to feel fulfilled in our life. And for me, I know that I, that's what I want. I want to make a difference. I want to do whatever. So if you want to do what you want to do, fine. But you need to have that end goal to work because that's what's going to motivate you because the little things in between are just the little goals that we have to reach. So like setting those minor goals, like my goal, end goal is to be a lawyer. The little things is to be, have my master's degree, have a bachelor's degree, and then go to law school. Like you have to set the tone for yourself. And I think that's what a lot of people like tend to forget. We want to be, we want to conform to the things around us. And we, we're kind of scared to go and push those boundaries. We got to make some noise. You got to sit, make people uncomfortable. And it's okay to be uncomfortable. That's how we grow. That's how we get to our end goal. I am so happy to be talking to you because it sounds like you've graduated from not just high school, but college, but this is all taking a lot of work. What is your, what is your pillars? What do you use to, as a work ethic to keep you going? What are, what are some of the things that you use that you've hold on to that has helped you get to where you're at right now? Man, um, man, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, definitely when I was growing up watching my parents, like just put in work. Um, the idea that like, I never, every time, every time I'm up, they've been up for a couple hours already. You know, so the idea that like I'm not the first person that's up in my household, that you know, I'm blessed to be a part of. That's the first thing that really made me understand that there's a reason why people do what they do each each day, day in day out. Another thing that keeps me going is that ultimately the first person you look at at the beginning of the day is you. If you make that choice, you know, I look at myself in the mirror every day, and I'm like, well, what is it? What is it going to be today? You know, at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself that question. Um, and I, I did personally did have that issue in high school and not even issue. It's just real life, you know, definitely being in terms of like comparing yourself to others and especially in college too, because that's, just an, that's just an extrapolated um, population, you know, but at the end of the day, what really matters is that like, you have to remind yourself you're one of one, you know, there's nobody else in the world, regardless of how intelligent somebody may be in this particular field, there's nobody else that thinks the way you do other than you, 
you know so when you really when you really tap into why you are unique and you, what your why is internally it offers you a sense of focus and a sense of belief that nobody can really understand because it's coming for you and about you so those are definitely the three three aspects of life that have always been a constant reminder of me as to like why i keep working hard and you know the direction i'm headed towards what i hear out of you right now is what my <laughs> wife and i call we call this a emotional maturity mm. there's so many times I, students um they 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 kind of want you to figure out the answer for them. They, they don't even mind asking you, you know, how, how to do something. Or I had somebody the other day say, hey, um, you know, I talked about opportunities and they said, well, what happens if I don't have the same opportunities other people? And I said, well, it's not about having the opportunities other people have. It's about maximizing the opportunity you do have. So if it's one opportunity, maximize it. How, how, when did you start becoming, um, responsible for your work <laughs> you know what i mean like you you're like man i looked at you said you looked at yourself in a mirror a lot of people wouldn't say that why is that so important and, and where when did that kick in for you did something happen man, man <laughs> did something happen i mean maybe like i was I, I can't put a day to it it might have been sometime in high school though honestly yeah i, I want to say it was around my senior year when i realized you know um my life is more or less in my hands um, I think it was also that it was it was just understanding that, hey, look, like all the choices I made up until this point has got me here. When I realized that caused that next step for me personally, it it, it, made, it it brought me confidence that I look at like this is you, you did this. You know, at the end of the day, you had support, you had, you had influences in your life that were positive, but ultimately you made the decisions when it was late at night, I'm gonna finish that assignment. Or when you you were you were about to go out that weekend, you're like, nah, let me do this work so I could, you know, keep focused. So I was probably around high school that, you know, I just, I was able to understand that like me just looking at myself in the mirror was not just, hey, the reminder that it's, it just, as it's me at the end of the day, but it was also more importantly, a reminder of the choices that I got to make, you know, because mm -hmm. I make, I make a choice to look at myself in the mirror and understand and love the person I'm looking at. And just, mm -hmm. if I could do that, there's no reason why I can't put in the work because at the end of the day, I'm going to see myself tomorrow, you know, so it, it's going to be, it's going to be on me to think about those unseen hours anyway. So that's definitely when I started saying, hey, look, let me be responsible in my life. And I don't mean I'm perfect. It does not mean I'm perfect. It, it, I procrastination, that's college. That's <laughs> college procrastination. And I'm not going to lie. But at the end of the day, like, the more you look at yourself, the more you trust yourself and believe in yourself, those choices will start flowing in because you know that, like, your life is something of value. And once you appreciate that for yourself, the discipline is, is just second nature. Listening to Valerie and Kosi on work ethic, Reminds me of this quote I heard. Today is a great day to be great. What does that mean? If you do what most people don't do, you will be considered great. And part of that is how hard you work. Keep reflecting on what you heard today. If you have any questions, please reach out. And we cannot wait to see you again. Thank you.